Aju Inu Aju. Apa sah? Apa sah? Nataka Ruta atekeleza adi yake kwa mama mboga na watu wa boda boda ili atimize adi yake kazi iwe nzuri manake saa hizi uchumi umekuwa juu sana watu wanaumia hata shule nazo ndio hizo zataka kufunguliwa school fees ndio hiyo yataka kuletwa hapo pesa hakuna hii mambo ya Ruto kutumia jina ya mama mboga na watu wa boda boda kwetu hatuitaki kabisa ni hayo tu ni dhulma sisi pamoja na, ma, na mama mboga na tuwa boda boda na tuwa vinyozi Vila mbavo alitu promise Tunaona ni kama alitu danganya Hii kenye kinendelea sahi ni kama kutunyanyasa sisi wanainchi Sisi, sisi tukona mabibi sisi tuko na mazazi wetu wanataka waishi lakini tunaona hatuwezi kutekeleza mambo yetu tunarudi nyuma hatuwezi hata kusave tunabaki maskini kama sisi wana boda boda kila mtu ameketi akiongelea masuala ya economy na hii ni kwa sababu ya kuwa tunaona hata wale watu wa chini ambao walikuwa ni the target wakati wa campaigns wameachwa nje Watu wanalia huku nje sio boda boda sio mama mboga hata vijana. Na ndio maana hata tukiangalia ndani ya nchi yetu ya Kenya tunapata kuwa kuna rise ya youth gang. Rise ya insecurity. Ni ni kwa sababu ya kuwa mpaka vijana wameamua watoke huko nje waende waweze kujitafutia. Sasa uh, whatever we are demanding here today is to make sure that whatever is rightful for the citizens goes to the citizens. This is a cry that we have as the citizens of, the, of this country, citizens of this uh, uh, nation, Kenya. We want what is meant for the citizens to go to the citizens. Wale ambao wameenda koti kwa kikisha kwa masuala haya anatekelezwa ama yanaangaliwa kwa kiundani, basi koti isimame. Let judiciary be independent. Mambo ya miharibika zaidi kuliko vile tulivyo. Sasa, tusipoteze muda. Kwa sababu mwisho wa siku maisha lazima yaendelee mbele. Tuko na ndugu zetu, wadogo, tuko na jamii sisi wenyewe, tuko na watoto, maisha lazima yaendelee mbele. Ningeliomba kwamba tukusanye nguvu zetu, tuanze kufanya kila ambacho sisi wenyewe tunaweza bila kutegemea serikali. There is revenue generation here, but, mi, but mi, mismanagement has taken the order of the day and this is very 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 discouraging. Let us wake up as we depend on the, on the national government to bring resources down here, the county government should be on the forefront to make sure that all the workers of the county are going down to see what they are supposed to, to, to oversee. Not sitting in their offices, eating salaries and doing all those kind of things while 
the common mwananchi ni kilivi suffering tuliwaweka hapo tukitumaini kwamba mtabadilisha maneno lakini kufikia hapo mmetuvunja moyo na msitufikishe kiwango cha kwamba tutaanza kufikiria mbinu mbadala Linda Jamii has sued the Kenya Kwanza administration for using the goodwill of Mama Mboga and Boda Boda without permission for political gain The High Court has been asked to fine Kenya Kwanza a total of 426 billion shillings which is the worth for the goodwill of Boda Boda and Mama Mboga why are we reaching that figure Uh, Bo, uh, Boda Boda and Mama Mboga contributes uh, 80%. That whole sector contributes 80% of the of the GDP. Boda Boda alone contributes 1 billion shillings per year to the economy. If you take annually, that is 365 billion shillings that he contributes in terms of revenue to the Kenyan economy. So we are asking the following. The court should declare that Kenya Kwanza administration their employees and everybody else should not use the term boda boda and mama mboga without permission until this case is heard and determined secondly the court should declare that Kenya Kwanza administration should, re, should be able to compensate boda boda and mama mboga a total of 426 billion shillings which is the goodwill which they used to reach into power. So just to give you a reason why because when you stereotype and you stigmatize boda boda people saying that is a kali near boda boda and mama mboga the other people who are not in this government feel that it is the boda boda and mama mboga that brought this government to power and therefore they are having some bad reaction towards them they say bad spirit and also they say psychological trauma to the boda boda people and mama mboga people when everybody feels wao ndio wako kwa serikali lakini hawako hakuna siku tunaweza pata viongozi vizuri kama hatuna kitu mfukoni lazima tuanze kuangalia vile kila kijana anaweza kujimudi kiuchumi kila mama kila baba kila ndugu kila dada nimesimama katikati ya mama mboga na boda boda sasa huyu mama na huyu mama ye ni mama mboga na pia ni boda boda huyu pia ni mama na pia ni boda boda Wajua hiyo ni baraka? baraka sasa kwa hivyo wao wamekuwa wame, wame na wame, wame utapeliwa mara mbili, sivyo? Hey. Utapeli imefanyika wakati wa boda boda na pia mama mboga. Sasa hiyo ni double tragedy. 2024 utapata haki yako. Haki ya... Kila tunaweza fanya not ruto again. Tumeomba wa kitosha. Hatuwezi omba milele. Sasa tuombe Mungu yeye asha anafanya anajifanyia yeye kazi kwa sababu wanasema kwa kula kwanza sisi baadaye